We're back, ready to tackle our first dungeon. Had, yeah, I had to check to make sure that my two-year-old wasn't up because he's like right next door now, so it's not soundproof very well. But it looks like he fell asleep, so we're good. Like, we just moved him up there. Oh, that is a switch. Yep, you definitely want to go that way first. Uh, I forgot a small, small fact. Uh, we may or may not be able to full clear this, depending on the items you get. Ah, so, that's let's okay. bank on you getting something that you need. I forgot there are enemies here that can only be killed by the bow, which you are yet again still missing. Yeah, it's been pretty elusive, hasn't it? There are two bows, though. Why are there two? So as long as we find... Well, because there's the silver arrow upgrade, but it, it counts as a progressive Oh, item. progressive, right. Okay. So we're just going to skip doing the right check, and we're going to go straight up to the middle and use that key you just got. Oh, I know what All to do right. here. You... Bam! Yes, you do. Aha. And Ice Rod kills them, but I don't think it's worth the magic. Oh, wait, Sword Beam, duh. Blade Beam. Yep. It's Blade, blade beam. beam. It's Blade Beam. Uh, you want to go on a left path and you want to bomb. Yeah, that's the right path. Uh, go the... Oh, I, the I see it. Down. The drop down up here is just more beneficial. Drop down now? Nice. Mm-hmm. Yep, just go down. Hop on down. Forget if this is where you need the bow or not, so we're gonna hope you don't. Drop you don't down? Have key. Never mind, drop off. We'll come back. Uh, you get a chest here if you uh, hit the switch, but then you're gonna want to immediately run. Oh my goodness. Well, that's... Lucky. Oh, well that's lucky! That's exactly what we needed! Perfect! <laughs> Heck yes! I'm glad we got all those arrow upgrades then. Um, uh, so technically, hit that other switch then, because this is where, you'll see, we, we're now on that what? right path that I told you to skip earlier. What uh, switch? Yeah, step on the glowy... Oh, the tile. ...glowy pad. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, tile. <laughs> so the, that other tile is the way back, so don't... Dang it. <laughs> it's okay. It's really easy to go back and forth. Okay, there's another you hint up there. The, that wall. the boots requires a bomb. Oh, we already got them. We already oh, got the boots. okay. Did you think we were going to get here before we got the boots? What the heck? That's a terrible clue. Well, now we can do this. Yep. And you'll need it for literally the next room. Dash. Wait, what about this store? Yeah, <laughs> you keep forgetting your speed dash. <laughs> yeah, I. All right, I... so this is where you need the bow. I'm gonna grab so that. They move in tandem with you, which you're missing. You're already figuring out. Uh, the red will shoot at you if he is in line of sight. The greens will not. Okay. Oh, I think I see what to do here. Hold on. I'm trying not to tell you too much to make it a little more fun. There you go. We eventually got it. A little bit of a restock as well. Uh, none of those are going to work, unfortunately. They're all okay. cracks. Oh, this is rough. You have the fortunate... You, you're lucky you have the mirror for this, because then we can make traveling back a lot easier. We're just going to ignore those guys. Ooh, 
Actually, we don't even have to travel back. We got the hammer too. Oh, you are—you have the exact right items for this. This is perfect. Um, do I have to use a bunch of arrows? Oh no, bombs would be better. You can also just sword slash them. You just might take a hit. You just gotta be careful with the timing. Oh, as long as they're not electrocute. Oh, okay, I see. Plus, now you have your, your beam back, so. What about the cracked Both walls here? Both Nothing? of them are bombable. Uh, the right is fairy, so if you don't care about the fairies, you can just skip it. Okay, left is... Treasure chest. Yes, I want that. Key? Okay. And that's what we need, so... Ah! <laughs> How do we want to do this? Do we just want to warp? It might still be better to warp. Yeah, just use the magic mirror. Alright, we're going back. Yep, because we need that middle chest. So yeah, go straight up the middle. And remember that, that uh, hole in the floor we bombed earlier? We gotta do that again. Okay. Because now you have a key. What a nice arrow restock. Very fortunate. What's up there? Uh, you'll go there later. Got it. Actually, I think I want whatever this is. Yes, you did. I think you need your bow in this room again. Oh, nope, this is the upward path. Another chest? Okay, key. Let me fall said, down. literally a key for a key. That's unfortunate. Lots of arrows, oh my goodness. Uh, tile? Or wait. Yep, just go to the tile. Leave. Up the stairs, and then you should be able to uh, push the block on your left so you don't have to go in and out of the doors. Just throw, just throw a skull at him if you want to kill him. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. You can bomb them, you can use the magic powder on them, you can do lots of things to kill these guys. You don't really need to kill that one, though. Oh, I was trying to push that statue. Do I not need to do that? That one you can't push, only the right one. Oh, okay. Up. Yep. Uh, now take the right path. You got it. And then just push that block into the eternal abyss down there. Okay, cool. That's a fire rod, is it not? Oh, Oh, wow. All right. Well, now we're opening up a lot of Dark World dungeons we can just do. And you can technically do Turtle Rock, which I'm sure you don't want to do right now. <laughs> I'm guessing that's like that's like one of the hardest dungeons, isn't it? That is Dark World Dungeon 7. And without half magic, it is a pain in the butt. Uh-oh. Switches. Yep, that's fine. We have the keys, so let's just let's just stay up here and go to the uh, left and go into that door with the key lock. Perfect. You can go either way right now, so uh, speed boot, speed boot cross. Oh. Oh well, uh, I guess you're leaving and I'm gonna retry. Okay. Alright, so, uh, let's do... You have the keys to do it, so yeah, let's go that way. This room's kind of rough. Yep, I can't remember if there are actually torches in here for you to see. You just have to have the lantern. Yeah, you might just have to have a lantern. 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks, that's unfortunate. We need one more key. 
We don't need it for the current door, but we need it in the future. That's not a key. That is not a key. Looks like that's it for this room. Nope, there's a bombable wall. Oh! Wait. Oh, the one time I remember. Doesn't even <laughs> matter. Like, how do you even tell the difference? You just have to memorize it? Mm -hmm. That's rough. Wait, did we get the big key for this? Or am I thinking of regular? Oh, uh, no, we don't have the big key. That's okay. This is easy to come back to. Because you already bombed the wall. Um, so that path that we went, that we skipped to the right in the previous room, we're just going to want to go there. Okay. So there are two chests that we can immediately get. One of them could be the big key. And then we can just come back here. Assuming we can get out of this maze. There we go. Yep, so just go directly right. Ideally, it would be a key and the big key. You can also hammer them again with the hammer, but just be careful it flops the other ones that are next to it back over. Okay. So, so now... Key. Okay, don't down? open the key door yet. Okay. Yep. Uh, both those stairs connect to each other, and there's just a... It's a dark room with uh, things to dodge and lots of money and two chests. Oh, we don't have magic powder. You don't, but you can get lots of money. You want all those upgrades? I do. Do you like money? There's our big key. Perfect. Now we can backtrack. Another small key. Should I um, uh, get the big key before? Be yes. Okay. Because uh, going down there, we'll find another key, and we'll, it'll also warp us back towards the start. Or we'll find another chest, sorry. But not, I think we have all the keys for this dungeon, if I counted correctly. So everything left should just be random items. Very nice. Or the map. The map is also still in play somewhere. I'm just hoping we can get a crystal before the stream ends. That would make me happy. We have to see the overworld map to uh, know what this dungeon is, and we can't see the overworld map in the dungeon. No, we, ju we, <laughs> we just have to believe. We have to believe that there's a crystal at the end of this dungeon, and not a pendant. I mean, if it's the Pendant of Courage, that's one we need for the check in Light World. If you get all three pendants, you can check the Master Sword for a potential random item of ten arrows. No, I, I think I like the idea of this being a crystal better. Let's see here. So, looks like I can bomb that. I mean, you can try, but it will it will uh, net you nothing except for a hole in the floor. <laughs> Why would they do that? Can I reset it? Mean? You can't even reset it. Oh my gosh. I'll okay. Start tiptoeing. Well, this is awful. Can I freeze these? No. You can freeze those things in Zooter, so. How do I even get that chest? You have to go across those uh, pots you picked up and then just, like, inch your way down. Ah. Four hearts down. It was the map. <laughs> Stupid map. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> Alright, we figured it out. We learned the tiptoe method. Should I jump down there? Or no? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to because you, uh, you need to get the thing to be blue. What's a, for, so all my items right here? What's a good way to deal with those guys? Like, would it be uh, bow? Hammer. Or maybe, uh, actually, could I bomb them from up here? You can bomb them. I don't know if you can do it from up there. You might have to throw across the arrow, but you can try. Oh, you can throw it from there. Perfect. Nice. 
Oh, wow, that actually worked a lot better than I thought. Okay, cool. So now I hit that switch? Yep, you wanna hit that switch. Cool. Perfect, then you wanna go into that other side door. That just leads you back. Remember that door you asked me, like, if I go up here, what happens? You come into this room. Okay. Hearts, yes, which means probably a mini boss coming up. You are correct. All right. Uh, wait. I thought I. S oh. Do you want to be cheeky, or do you want to do it the normal way? Can we use the cane? Yes, we can. Oh my gosh! I was hoping that was that's what you were what talking about. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, so arrows here. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I love the hitboxes sometimes. <laughs> that was a very skillful dodge. Alright, so I need you. Ah! No, oh, he took a hit, but he's dead. I think you recharge your arrows, at least. Alright, so what do you think you have to do here? Oh. Well, if I know Nintendo and their use of eyeballs... Yep. It's either eyes or hands. I mean, eyes and hands is kind of like, what, three quarters of Nintendo's bosses? Isn't uh, Bongo Bongo both of Yeah, Bongo Bongo is literally both of those. And then there's like Andros from the Star Fox ser series for hands and paper. Yep. And, uh, yeah, there's so many. So many examples. If only you had two more hearts. Good thing we have 50 arrows. Mm -hmm. We got very lucky as... Good. Yeah, we got very lucky as far as money and... Well, actually a lot of things. I probably should have lit those torches right away, but we're kind of past that point. I agree. I don't exactly remember which of those blocks is pushable, but there's nothing in this room to threaten you, so I don't think it really matters. Oh, you want the hammer. Oh, yes, I... Yes, I do. No heart drops, unfortunate. Alright. So you have a choice. You can hammer his mask. Since, obviously, it's the dungeon item of this dungeon, so obviously had to use it. Or you can be a cheap bastard and you can bomb him. Oh, hi. Okay. There goes our blue potion. We're fine. Right. You had one heart left. <laughs> Hearts dropped faster <laughs> than I thought they were going to. Ah! 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 I think I did damage. You did. 
bombs do more damage than the hammer does to his mass specifically. And now you want to shoot him with arrows, or you can try and get close and personal and whack him with a sword, but it's a, he's really fast, so it's easier to do the arrows. We got it. Uh, just go towards the center when he's swinging his tail. Fire, unleash. When he, when he stops, just, just unload the arrows as fast as you can. Oh my gosh, we barely made nice. it out. Oh, one heart left. Barely still counts. Ah, oh, another. <laughs> oh, like what? Both the bow upgrades were here? Oh, come on. I deserve a crystal for that. Come on. <laughs> Hey, it's the Pendant of Courage. You have to go back to regular Dungeon 1 anyways with the, with the bow to beat it, so you may as well talk to... Sar... Sarat... Mr. S. Hey, dude. Mr. S. Yes. <laughs> and actually, you can just warp with the uh, magic mirror, like, somewhere around here, and just be there. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, let's see where about we are in the light world. Right next to all the enemies. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Just where I wanted to be. That blue potion literally saved us. It did. I like how you run away from the dungeon. You just want that item first, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's right. We can do the dungeon. I didn't even think about that. Yep. Oh, so piece of heart. That's... Fine. All right, so I'd say it was still worth it. It's still it's just the first dungeon, so I think since we're right here, we just beat it. I don't think we really need to we need a blue potion for this one. You shouldn't. I know, I'm like you, I'm, I'm you, completely you, just I, I just set myself up. <laughs> I think I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. <clears throat> no, you're going the right way. You're going the I right was? way. I was? Okay. Ooh, that was a few bombs. Nice. That was a really nice drop there. Rock on a hard place. It's okay. You've got the beams. And that. <laughs> Alright. You remember the way? Uh, straight. You basically want to get back to the uh, big chest room. Yeah. Okay. Then just go straight I'll up. Let you navigate. We'll eventually figure it out. Gives me a chance to eat my block of cheese. Perfect. There's a big chest. Oh, well. Yeah, I can't drop down there. Okay. Go up. guys again. Oh wait, no, I just need the... Okay. Now we should be in the big trust room. There we go. And then the only direction you haven't went yet. Perfect. So the right path has just money, and the left path is obviously with the key room, it's the way to go. Okay. We all like money on this stream. We so. love money, yeah. 
Let's let's go collect a Ooh, bunch more. Yes. But can we dodge? Oh. Yes. Oh. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but we're taking it. All right, eight forty-nine. Just take the win. Not bad. Which is good because I want to buy another blue potion. Ah! Yeah. They're just so you useful. You can go for the max upgrade of arrows and bombs, but honestly, I think 30 and 50 is pretty ideal. Any more bombs is just excessive, and more arrows is just more shots at Ganon when you uh, are having issues. I agree. Like, I'm. The game's giving me arrows and bombs just left and right, so I'm not too worried about it. Like, we, we might upgrade again, but it's not really a priority for me anymore. Balls. So one of these switches has to... Yeah. I didn't want to tell you because I wanted to see you struggle, but you found it right away. <laughs> so remember that red in me I was talking about? This is the guy that can only be defeated by arrows. Oh, I see. So if you, if you came here without the bow, the door wouldn't open. Oh, wow. The silver arrow kills him in one shot. Nice. I was going to say, like, I thought he'd... So... The boss is gonna just melt with the silver arrows. I would think so, but I'm not 100% because I haven't fought the boss with silver arrows before. I'm usually not that lucky with my seeds. I mean, it seems like it's a good strategy. You just find the silver arrows right away and you just fight the boss. Yeah, well, my last seed, they gave me the hammer right away and I didn't get a sword until I'd already cleared four dungeons. Beat. Dark World Dungeon 4, 3, uh, Light World Dungeon 2, and 1. And then we got a boomerang. Decided, <laughs> it finally decided as my reward for yes! beating Dark World Dungeon 3. <laughs> Plus a freaking sword. That sucks. Crystal number was this but we got the crystal. So, I like how the really hard dungeon, we get the... We just got a pendant, and then the really easy one, we get the crystal. Uh, which, uh, check your, uh, uh inventory. Map? Oh. It was crystal number one, it looks like. I saw it flash really quick. Ooh, crystal number five is in, uh, dungeon two. But we need the book. We need the book, and we need the gloves. We have neither. But we got the fire rod recently. Um, can that get us anything? Uh, yeah, that can get us Dark World Dungeon 3. Uh, you can always do Dark World Dungeon 4. That one's that one requires the ability to get Dark World. Oh, wait. Um, oh, wait. I am in the Light World. What am I doing? I mean, you can still warp. It's fine. Unless you want to use the, the duck right there, but... uh. I would like to refill my potion if we're gonna do another Hi. Yeah, if we're gonna do another uh, Dark World dungeon especially. There we go. Okay. So this Dark World dungeon is where? The two that you can do are going to be both in town and in the uh, forest above town in the dark world. So you're going to have to go to Three. your house and then... Oh, four. Number four. Number four. Because you have to go up into Hyrule Castle and it'll send you to dark world now. Because right now that's your only way to get to dark world. Yeah, we could really use the... Uh, what is it called? The Titan's Mitt? Yep. There might be a place you can peg to get to Dark World too, but this is just easier. Oh my gosh, you guys. I never marked off the bow. And silver arrows. Oh wait. One. Two. Wait. We have the this best so one. Yep, that's the right one. Okay. I thought there would only be like two toggles there, not three, so I was kind of thrown off guard. 
we can't do Dungeon 2, we don't have a quick shot. Or at least we can't do much of it. Yeah, look at that arrow drop. It's 10 arrows. Got it right back. Hmm. We can do some overworld checks really quick. So, uh, you know where Link's, see where Link's house is in the Dark World right down there? Yes. Yeah, straight in the middle of the map. Uh, yes. If you go slightly south of that into that area where the uh, red pendant is, there's a bombable wall on the upper right-hand side, and there is a bunch of treasure chests in there. Okay, I want to go to the right here. You have to go right and then south. And you'll need the hammer. Oh, they're just dropping red rupees everywhere for you. And then once you beat the seed, you're ready for the advanced, right? You won't oh, need my help at all. Completely. Exactly. Perfect. Oh, you can catch the fairy, but you already bought a blue potion, so that'd be a waste of money. Yeah, I'd rather have blue potion, because we have fire rod, too. Oh. Like, we have a lot of stuff we can do with magic. Oh, apologies. You want to go north, and then left, and then south. North. Left. South. Okay. And then right on the upper right part of the wall there. Oh, the, I see uh, it. The wall. See, every time I try to use a Pegasus boost to save a bomb, it does not matter. Ah! Well, that's a big magic. You just faced it. Uh, I believe that talking to the dude also gives you stuff. Dude! Oh my god. You're so lucky! What's even better is that's vanilla. <laughs> that's what he usually gives you. Oh, really? Yeah. There's something else back here. Uh, some things. Oh my gosh. 20 bucks? 20 bucks? Okay, surely <laughs> this is gonna lead to something good at the end. What was that? <laughs> it wasn't helpful, that's what it was. See, it's like, go to the next dungeon already. <laughs> that's where all your good stuff is. Uh, uh, okay, what can we do then? Is there another dungeon we can full clear? I'm trying to figure out how to get you to Kakariko Village. Because you don't have the Titan's Mitt. Hmm. We don't have the Book of Bordora, so we can't do the Bombos check. We don't have the, the Double Titans, so we can't get into Kakariko. Oh, we can talk to the dude in the woods. Yeah, go go north. In the woods. Back to where your uh, house is in Dark World. Then you want to go... Go like you're going towards Kakariko Village, just don't go into Kakariko Village. What's, is there anything good in my house? Uh, yeah, he sells the Super Bomb, but you need to have Crystals 5 and 6, and you have neither of those. I see. Okay. And that's how you take the Super Bomb slowly all the way to that uh, big bomb crack in the giant pyramid, and you can blow it up, and that's where you find the fairy. Oh, wow, that's nice. No hearts. Oh, well. Alright, we can do two checks here. Uh, first check... Uh, cut through the bushes and go into that uh, upper forest part. You and oh. your senseless murder. I was just trying to get my hearts- oh, never mind. If I would've just went the path, everything would've been fine. Oh. And just talk Hi to there, friend. the stump. Okay. Well, there we go. We can do another dungeon hey. now. And we can do the Bombos check and the Ether check. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so... so that opens 
back to the light world? You can, uh, not yet. Oh, you can get the mirror, but you don't need it this second. Uh, we need we need to go down to straight down into that little uh, little tiny clove, and then see those. Uh, oh, the magic mirror yeah, in, yeah. Out of that uh, push pile. Hurry! Get out of there! The dark world bees don't sting any harder. Oh, nice. Oh. I think I, think I took too long. You did. <laughs> I didn't know I was on a time right? <laughs> oh, it's because... Okay, he's invulnerable, and that's why I don't warp back immediately. Okay. So... Yeah. Rough. Well, it's fine. Do we want to get the Bombos check first? Let's do the Bombos check first because we're right there in Dark World. So go back to Dark World. Because you can you can come to Light World and use the flute whenever with the magic mirror. So that's less of a priority. Let's get the harder ones now. Let's get the Bombos check since you have the book. So go back to your house and then go south from your house again. Unless you want to do the shovel mini game. But I don't know if you need the shovel for the shovel mini game or if it just lets you have it. Nah, I don't think I want to do the mini game. All right. At least not yet. That's that's fair. All right. So my house and where? So uh, many bad south, guys. South of your house. Uh, go like you're going towards the desert when you go south. Okay. Or at least where the desert was. It's going to be a dead end, but you can use that dead end with the magic mirror and you'll be up on a ledge, which is what you want. That guy will eat your shield, so be careful. The pumpkin okay. things are like the like legs. Avoid the pumpkins, got it. Can't go up there. Alright. It's okay, though. This is the way you want to go. Alrighty. Like yeah. up there. Yeah, use your go as far to the left as you can inside of the pegs and then use the magic mirror. Okay. And here we go. Oh, go. I see. And then we use the book. Yep. That is correct. Did I get the sword? Oh no. Is that armor? That's armor, oh, we got isn't the armor it? Upgrade. Nice. Yes. Okay. Look how cool he looks in blue. Wow, he does look good in blue. Outstanding. I'm really glad that right. uh, we almost went into the dungeon before getting that. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you can go to the dungeon right now if you want. You just you can't clear it until you get the uh, gloves. But we could find it in the dungeon. Maybe. I'm not sure. You're already here, you may as well take a look. I mean, we you found a nothing right. we found a bow in a dungeon, so it's our track record. It's true. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna dash. Oh, not that not that way. Okay, well, he's too fast. The sprite of him praying is so weird. It's his head just shrank, dude. And they were saying Cloud has a big head. Well, he definitely does in your bridge series. Oof. <laughs> Shameless shoutouts, Final Fantasy VII abridged, go watch it, it may be 10 years old, but it's still good. Cloud Strife 8 on YouTube. I'm in it too. <laughs> Um, I lost my beam. I'm wondering what's good against the sand enemies here. Your sword. The ice rod. Arrows. Everything, basically. Okay, so it looks like the randomizer set killing things with the boomerang to one bomb as the item.
those things are indestructible, aren't they? That is correct. Nothing up there. Yep, you're on the right way. Uh, let's see, which one of these is easiest to do? Uh, I'll just make short work of them. It just keeps giving me arrows, it's amazing. And my arrows are ridiculous. Felt like that should have worked. Just hit him with your sword. For some reason I kinda didn't think I could, but there we go. Uh there's Oh, okay. You gotta it's be kidding me. Dude. You. Oh god, come on. <laughs> Is that vanilla? Uh, I mean, for the dungeon, yes. For the placement, no. <laughs> but still, like, it's... Yeah, and vanilla in the dungeon somewhere. <laughs> yes. Alright, well, we can beat the dungeon. <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright. I love it. Ow. Uh, go to the left, because we want to... We need a key, and we don't have a key. Let's go get that key. So try, try that room to the north. Oh, hey, look, another heart. Well, I don't like this. Well, that's because you went to the east instead of the north. Or the west. God, I can't even do directions either. Why am I guiding Ow. <laughs> oh, I see. I can't give directions and you can't follow them, so we're both terrible. <laughs> But I at least know where the big key, ch where the big chest is. So, okay, e <laughs> you said east. Uh, north, north. Oh wait, north. <laughs> Dude, we're both we're we're both tired. It's true. Hey, that's what we need. Perfect. Quake what requires the mushroom. Quake requires the mushroom. It says. That's true. We used the mushroom on the uh, witch and we got quake, the quake medallion. Does the compass even... No, it doesn't show locked doors. No, the compass in this is pretty freaking useless. I don't think north is anything, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's a lot of arrows. That armor upgrade's really coming in handy. Yeah, I bet. I believe, so the blue armor halves damage, and the red armor makes it a quarter, so half of a half. And we're so powerful. Uh, normally, vanilla, the red armor is in Ah, Gans there's Tower, a key like door. The last item you Okay, well, there's Moving the on up. Hooray. Pegasus boots. Oh, good call. And there's a big key. Perfect. And probably, well, probably I could use... The... I really hope the big chest is the map, because it would just be funny. I mean, it's probably a thing that's going to happen. Uh, technically, the uh, boss can drop the uh, map or the compass. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. The only thing that's not shuffled into the boss is the big key, because you always need the big key somewhere to get to the boss, with maybe the exception of this dungeon. Ah, where was that? Ah! I got stuck. Where's that switch? You All were right. so close, and then you started going the other direction. I don't know why I thought it was northeast, and then once it wasn't northeast, I started to panic. <laughs> you just had to say it something. You just had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's check our uh, map. Where haven't we? Oh, still getting used to the controls here. So down, we haven't went. We haven't went all the way southeast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 
I'll save you a little bit of try time. The room north of here is pointless. It, I think it's fairies. I'm glad, because there's a BMOS there, and I didn't want any part of it. If you go straight south before the drop-down, there is an item on the ledge. It is bombs. Okay, well... Ah, what am I... What did I even get hit by there? Cactus. Seriously? It looks like something in the yeah. background. It was, until you touched it with your face. <laughs> God, this game is evil. Alright, so... <laughs> yes, I'm calling, your, I'm calling your childhood game evil. We you have the Titan's your, uh, Mitt. I forgot you, about that. Yeah. Yeah, you just got it. Um, is there anything to the right? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Um, push random block? One of the blocks. I believe it's on the right side. Is that really a puzzle? It's just a way to take damage. Uh oh. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna stick around. <laughs> Just dopes out. I'm out. Hey, it's your favorite. It's a murder room. What is with all of these arrows? I could have avoided that beam, I was just too busy laughing. What's the point of the torches if it's not a darkened room? Uh, to act activate something, probably. Okay. May as well get rid of all the pots first so you can just run through the room. Oh, I see what you're saying. Ow! My face! You didn't even need to. It was a key door. <laughs> well then. Uh, wait, what? We're stuck again. Are you though? Oh, we're gonna get an item here. Uh, I mean, the, I think it's, I think it's another pot key. I could be wrong, but I. I'm that would make. Sure it would make the, sense. Ah, uh, yep. Good call. Save me from some of the tiles there. Oh, good. I needed some hearts. I got this guy. We'll just pelt him with air. Blah. I don't have arrows equipped. You do have a lantern. Oh, you come on, man. With a, with a bright flame. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume the... Lighting the torches is what we need to do here, since there's four of them. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. I think I know what's coming. And I think Silver Arrows is gonna be what I want here. You can use the bow, but it might just be easier to hit him with the Oh my gosh. I just one shot oh, at him. Oh, I one shot at Wow. Oh my gosh. And silver arrows are busted. <laughs> oh. There's not, even a, there's not even a challenge anymore. <laughs> we get them all back. Just like that. Good. You deserve that reward for cheesing yes. the boss. All I hear is earned victory. Oh, <laughs> it gave you the silver arrows way too early. That was like what the second dungeon, so it was also crystal five. So you got uh, one of the two crystals you need for the oh. super bomb. Oh, all right, okay. And now you have the Titan's Mitt, so we can get uh, we can get the check by the witch. So we can do the waterfall, and we can do Zora's Domain, which is four items total, minus 500 gold. Or rupees. Yeah, let's do that. You seem to be uh, doing okay on the rupee section, though. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. All right, uh, two. Okay, so here? 
Freeze him! Freeze him! Not even Lord. worth it. <laughs> the oh. silver arrows are just too broken. I hope it doesn't work on all the bosses. I know it won't work on the Turtle Rock boss. Or at least not his uh, first form. It may work on his second form. She's the second Dark World boss, too. Oh, no. Where's the challenge gonna come from? Maybe Dark World 4 boss? Uh, before you go up there, let's go to the waterfall. Okay, where's the waterfall? To the west here? Yep. Oh! Yep, right up there. Oh, okay. Uh, usually it would be a fairy, but it's just two, two treasure chests now. Wow, thanks for the heart container. And if you have an empty bottle and you throw it in here, usually they give you a green potion for free, but I think the randomizer changes that. Oh, I see. So it, it might be a red or a blue. It'll be nice to get this check done with, too, so I don't have to constantly remember to keep 500 rupees on me. <laughs> exactly. All right, so what's the ledge item? Oh, you want to go north, not not west or east. Sorry, okay. you want to go north. The ledge item is worthless. We can just ignore it. It is. I can't see. Ah. That's fine. We'll just we'll pick it up on the way out. Zoras are a lot less arrows, nice. You your arrows again. Zoras are a lot less nice in Link to the Past versus Ocarina of Time. I dare say they're not quite as pretty either. Nah. This one just straight up robs you. That wasn't a very good deal. What a trade. Here, I'll <laughs> give you 10% of what you give me. Oh, is there anything else up here? <laughs> uh, no, you want to you hop down. There's, okay. a, there's an item, but you need to you need to hop down the waterfall. Uh, here? Nope, nope, no, nope. Stay up there. Okay. And you want to go up that uh, grassy ledge? Is that vanilla? That is vanilla. Okay. All right, where else can we go now? Uh, hold that map. Yeah. Well, the good news is we can now warp from Kakariko instead of going to Hyrule Castle, so that's nice. Let's get some more, um, while we're thinking, let's go get some more bombs and arrows. Yeah, sure. Well, Max out those arrows. <laughs> arrows are just so busted right now. Why can't, why isn't my duck working? Does he not come in the Zoro's Domain? Maybe you have to leave Zoro's Domain. Oh. I guess the Zoras are dangerous, so I don't blame the little guy. Yep, just hop down the waterfall and go west. Let's get out of here. There we go. We have to go back to Dark World. Oh! No! Death Mountain! Go to Death Mountain real quick. Okay. That's number one. We want to go all the way back up to the Tower of Hera, which was a Dungeon 3. And instead of going into it, we want to go to the left. There is one check we can do with the Book of Medora that we just got. You can take the shortcut through here. Uh... Wait, what shortcut? Straight up. Just go straight up. There's oh. a little cave, and it'll pop you out a little bit farther up the mountain so you can avoid some of the rocks. Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't want to tell you the first time because I wanted you to experience the rocks because you seem to like them. Oh, gee, thanks. You're welcome. Definitely was a highlight for me. 
We call that content. <laughs> we call that content. Not that I legit forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so many- I hate this area! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, now I, you're going the opposite direction. You wanna go- you wanna go west, good sir. Oh, west? Okay. West and north. West and north. Oh, okay. That mountain really confuses me. Let's see... Oh, oh no, you don't have enough. Okay. Oops. So we, there's a check we can do if you want to burn your potion. So go go step on the tile. Step on the tile. What? The... Yeah. So go to the go to the right the the warp tile. Sorry. Oh okay. So we have options. You can go to the... I don't know. There's there's a check that requires you to take a lot of damage right now. Just, a, just an absolute ton. But it has an item. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you hop down these ledges, there's a... I think it's uh, on the right side. Dude. <laughs> yeah, right there. Okay. You'll see what I mean by taking lots of damage. Oh, hi. So that's what you meant by burning a potion. Yeah, and you don't have the cape or the cane of burn us. You can't have free invincibility. Can you Pegasus boost here or no? Oh. Nope, because you'll keep getting hit. You have to basically invincibility boost through it and you just take tons of damage. So let's get our potion ready. Yep. Now. And just keep holding down to lift. Yep. There you go, you did it. Phew. And it was unfortunate that it, it was worth potion, it. It was, it was worth, it. worth it. Oh my gosh. Good call. So now, so that okay. one lets us lift up the dark rocks, correct? Yup, so we can basically warp them anywhere now, which is very helpful. Hmm. Oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, use the magic mirror real quick. It might take you to the start of this without dying. Save quit. Is it not We're... working? Should we save quit? Yeah, magic mirror doesn't do anything. Uh... Yeah. I mean, shoot. if All right. we're gonna die anyway. Yeah, I wanted to get us ether, but uh, you're not gonna make it back out of here. Yep. Okay. No, we weren't even. Yeah, we weren't even close to making it without that blue potion. Uh, well, since we're actually no, we're in dark world right now, so we are in dark world. Uh, yeah. Well, we can go towards the. We can go north towards the witch's hut in dark world. And go back to where Zora's domain was. We can get another check there now. So. Okay, and let's uh go. We can use the magic mirror next to the witch's hut and get a blue potion back. Uh yes, or green or red or whatever color it is. I think it's red in the randomizer, but it I don't know if it's a randomizer. Or it's just set to that in in the randomizer. Ugh. I played a lot of this when it was initially uh, set up, and then they've updated the randomizer a few times and changed a couple things, so I'm right. missing a few of the updates as far as what uh, what happened. I if you can buy the upgraded shield here. I don't think so. I think that's the secret shop. 
Alright, so I'm going uh, to get the potion real quick, and then I want to get a heal too. Then we can go back. Makes sense. Yep, free heal from the lead to the right. Yep. I thought, I thought you said you wanted the uh, free potion. You just bought a, you just bought a blue potion. Uh, I meant uh, free heal and then blue potion. Oh, gotcha. I yeah. thought you were going to warp up the Zora's Domain and use the fairy to get a free potion. I do not know how to do that. Well, well I plus would show we just, you if you had an empty I mean, we just keep, we keep finding money anyway, so we know we can afford it. That's true. It'll be fine. So okay. yeah, go back to the dark world then. Let's see what the Quake Medallion would normally give us. Probably money, let's be real. Chances are high. We haven't had a ton of 10 arrows, it could be 10 arrows. Oh, cool. You, you can take any way to get through now. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, north. We're going to where the Zora's ah. Domain was in Light World. That was oh, my no, mistake. No, <laughs> no, no I, I, I thought I had arrows equipped. I forgot I still had the mirror. So I went to fire an arrow and it fired the mirror. I gotcha. Yeah. That was an uh, operator error there. Okay. You have a sword. The arrows are just so powerful, though. They just keep giving you, like, their candy. Alright, so you want to pick up that rock, and you want to throw it in that... Ah, uh, no, uh, I, I see. See those, uh... Yep. Will skulls work? Okay, there's plenty of rocks. But will skull work? Oh, it should. It should literally just be anything you can throw in. Oh, cool. All right. What do you got for us, magical fish? <laughs> Come on. Bob. Perfect. Just what we <laughs> needed. Oh. Rude. So. Let's uh, warp to Light World because it'll just be faster. Oh, hi, Crab. Oh, he's right there. Uh, you want to flute. Flute yourself to number six. So this is a this is a warp point to get into Misery Mire. Oh. You can only do it if you have uh, the gold gauntlets. Oh. This is completely sealed off in Dark World. Misery Mire, huh? Yep, uh, we don't have to do the dungeon right now, because you don't have the hookshot. You can you can technically speed boot your way in without the hookshot, but uh, we want to go to the upper left-hand side. Upper left, okay. Because there are three entrances, or at least three proposed entrances, and the left one has an item or two in it. Wait. Okay, why does that... Okay, whatever. I'm over it. Oh, it's in that one pixel. Rough. Wait, right here? Yep. Oh, spooky. The one. Uh, nope, that's a bad idea. Twenty bucks. And another twenty, okay. Well then. More money for arrow upgrades. We're recouping your losses from Zoro's domain. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right, uh, what about let's, here? Let's see what medallion you need to get into. Let's go south just slightly. I, I don't think there's anything in the in that one. 
Uh, right in that corner is where you want to use the mirror in, in a little bit, but for now, let's go to the Misery Mire dungeon. I just want to see what medallion you need to get into it. Yeah, I... It's on the left side. Okay. Yeah. Um, I keep forgetting I can swim in there. Yep. I just want to see what the medallion is on the ground to open it up. The medallion you need is Bombos. We can't even get in anyways. Oh, so that's randomized. Yes. That's pretty cool. I like that. I believe it's originally ether and vanilla. I think that's a really cool touch. Um, I agree. I think it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan. So, at least we have that information. Oh. Yep, and then so you want to go to the upper right-hand corner of this uh, little segment then, because we're going to warp to a small a clove in the light world and get another item. Oh, nice. This is one that I almost always forget in my randomizer runs, and it annoys me to no end, so I'm not going to forget it in your randomizer run. Yeah, that would be straight up pain. So it looks like right here, huh? Yep. You want to pop that uh, good old mirror. Let's do it. And lift this up. Nope. Oh, okay. I almost warped back. That's not worth it. It's no, it's it's certainly. Well, you you don't have full arrows. The way the enemies have been giving me arrows, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Well, if you want to buy that upgrade, I guess you're in Light World now. Um, let's we find our dock. Because there's nothing to do there. Okay, perfect. How many arrows can you have maximum? I, th I think it's 70. I think it's 70. I don't know if they upped it in the randomizer, but I think vanilla, it was 50 bombs and 70 arrows. I'm really glad we upgraded as many arrows as we did, even though we didn't have the bow. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm regretting that decision now. That was great foresight. Oh, we can do Dungeon 5 now, too. Oh, we can do almost all the Dark World dungeons now, except Misery Mire. Oh, let's top off our health, too. Excellent. Oh, are you just gonna go straight arrows? You, you... You know... <laughs> you know exactly what's happening right now. Uh... <laughs> you're cheesing the game! If you want to get back at me, you're gonna have to take me to the next dungeon. At least... At least I didn't give you the easy seed. I did a quick skim of the uh, spoiler tag, and that thing gave you the red armor before you even did a dungeon. <laughs> How many armor and upgrades like, are there? Oh, is that it? Two. I told you, 70 arrows. Oh, 70, okay. Well, I guess we're getting some bombs then. Okay. Well, I'm gonna save the rest of my, my rubies for a blue potion, so. Yeah, 35 bombs is fine. So we can go straight to the Ice World dungeon right there if you would like, or we could do uh, dungeon 3 or dungeon 4. No. Nope. Uh, ice World is uh, Ice is dungeon 5, which is right here. I think it's time to suffer. We've been okay. doing pretty well, so. I don't know if we'll have time to. In. I don't know if we'll have time to do the whole dungeon tonight, but we can do some of it, and at least. If we end in a dungeon, we'll know where we left off for next week. It's true. Uh, so Fire, Fire Rod. Rod's gonna be really good here, huh? Uh, yep, Fire Rod and Bombos Medallion. Since you only have the Fire Rod, that's what you're gonna be using. I wish I had the, uh, better magic meter. Or half magic, or whatever it is. Unique item yeah, image. Yeah, I, I was better right now, too. Requiring a specialist to unlock. Wait, what? Oh! I That's think I... actually a good hint. A unique item in uh, chess. Okay. Do you want to do that right now? Um, uh, if you skip Dungeon 5 and do Dungeon 4, 
uh, we can take the frog to the blacksmith, and then we can unlock the uh, purple chest, which we can take to the thief and open it, which is what this clue is. Yeah, we can do that. Though I actually don't even know if we need to uh, do that. We might just have to save the blacksmith, but you have the gold glove. We can do that either way. So where do I go? Uh, Light World. Light World, then you're going to want to go to Kakariko Village, and then we're going to have to enter uh, the Dark World through Kakariko Village. Which, now that you have the Golden Gauntlets, is not a problem at all. Nice. So I believe Kakariko Village in Dark World is called the Village of Outcasts. I think so, yes. You can just go straight north here, I think. Yeah? Yep. There's also a check or two that we didn't get in here. Oh, you can just go straight down from the Dark Rock if you want. Unless you want to go into the Forest New Dungeon 3. Um, I mean, we can the do it. The world is your oyster right now. Um, let's pick up the... Is there just some easy checks in this village here? Yes. Yeah, let's get uh, those, the, and then we can do the dungeon. You can do the fortune teller or the fortune game here. Um, just pay to do it once, and the second item is almost always the uh, correct item. So, like, you'll you'll hear it say something. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I should not have told you to do that one. You realize that like every single check that you wanted me to do is like been a sword upgrade or armor upgrade instant regret instant regret <laughs> and if you would have just kept if you would have kept just telling me just to do dungeons i think we would have died probably like five times by now ah you still might die all right don't go straight south because there's a thief down there he's gonna rob you oh okay uh is there another check here uh yes there's a uh, one or two uh, brain. Uh, one, of, one or two of the houses have uh, items. Oh. That's Dungeon 4 right there. Oh, nice. And... Just explore the town. You'll, uh, which, just go into all the houses you can. One of them, one of them has a chest. The other one has a shop, I want to say. I think that's the shop. I don't see a shop. It's a, it's a little bombable house to the left. Oh, there we go. Got my bomb back. That is not a shop. Okay. 50 bucks. Which means I'll take it. Is outside of town. Outside of town? Right, so there's a, there's, a, there's a house you can uh, hit with a hammer uh, that the pegs around it, and you can get another check in there. It's in the upper right side of town. Lead opposite where I am. <laughs> oh yes. no! Oh my gosh, so much stuff flying at me. Oh. Wait, is this right? No, 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 it's in front of a house. Just go in the houses that you see that are still open. South, south, south. Uh! <laughs> oh no! Right to the thief. Right to the thief. Yes, oh take his gosh. arrows. Oh my gosh. Still have 70. And we get... Okay. We're topped off oh, from bombs now, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Isn't there a house you have to peg down? Oh yeah, it's right. It's, it's the house right south of this. Killed that bee with a hammer. Just splat. There's the shop. Okay. Uh, nothing useful. You bought another shield. Okay. I didn't think it would let you do that. Oh. I thought I got. I thought that was a shield upgrade. 
No. That was just a waste of money, okay. <laughs> it's just a waste of money. I just got 50 bucks and I just spent it. You are an impulse spender. Alright. Let's go into the, the dungeon uh, then. Uh, do you want the last two checks that are here? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize there were more. Yep, uh, so... Oh, there's more magic, nice. So, to the right... And a screen to oh, the right, geez. and... You can... Hammer down all the pegs, and it'll unlock a... A little... South section staircase. Neat. And that should have an item in it. Nice. Be careful, because they're skull skeletal chickens, they will still summon a bunch of chickens against you. Alright. 20 bucks. One dollar. Hey, we never right. got that speed boost, uh, 50 bucks, did we? Alright, check the house no. up top and see if... But I think we're chest is there. I think we're kind of past the point of that of needing that. I suppose that's true. It's I think I'd rather theory. I'd rather no. hold on to it. Oh, um, nothing we have here. To save the blacksmith first. We have to save the blacksmith first. So just leave. We'll come All back. Right. So the blacksmith is in the form of a toad, and he is oh. uh, one screen south of here. I see. Right here. And you need the gold gloves to unseal him, basically. Oh. Alright, he's coming along. And then just go back to town. Okay. And then use the magic mirror, like, anywhere in town. Take him home. Oh, nice. And then just like with the witch's hut, after you take him home, you have to just leave. And come back. Okay. Leave and come back, yep. You might be able to just leave the building and go back in the building, but if not, just go off screen. Okay. Oh, okay, 50 bucks. All right. Alright, ugh, oh, trying to route you. We did all of this so that we can unlock the purple chest. Yeah, you're helping him? Durnt. Durnt, take your germs. Okay. Nice. What about if I do this? You don't have the magic uh, powder yet. Darn it. Thought I made a smart play. usually where you'd get half magic. Alright, so for dungeons... Go back to your warp point. Yeah. So we can either do the ice dungeon or the, um... What's the dungeon uh, in the Village of Outcast called? Uh, the f uh, Blinds Hideout, I want to call it, I think. Can we... So we can do both of those? With our current uh, equipment? Yes, but let's... Let's go back to the right really quick and see if the purple chest appeared. I think it appears after you save the dwarf. Oh, okay. Because we had that clue saying it's a unique item. It's in the house up top. But it might be tied to the clear of Dungeon 4, I'm not sure. It is tied to the dwarf, okay. So now you take that out of the house, and then just uh, warp to Light World wherever you want. Probably not on the staircase over there. All right. And then you have to walk walk it to the uh, the desert area where that thief is. You cannot use the speed boots. All the way to the desert? Mm-hmm. And you... Oh, that's... That's kind of gross. Wait, how do I... He's in that little green patch right before the desert. Do I have to go up and right? How do I get over there? Uh, you have to go... Uh, left, south, right, south, left. 
Okay. What if we get hit? Are we gonna lose it? Uh, I think it's. I think it just stops moving, you just have to go pick it back up. Okay. But if you use your speed boots, it gets left behind. If you go off screen, it disappears and you have to go back to Dark World, so we don't want that. Uh, we can at least uh, use the gloves to go take the shortcut right there. Nice. I like that. Oh! That was close. Oh, yep, go back and get him. <laughs> I accidentally pressed A again and used, started to use my Pegasus boots, so I think that's how I lost him there. Because I just, I just started the animation. Yep. And then it's that dude right uh, straight north. We just talk to him. Because his story is that he used to be a thief, so he's hiding out in the desert. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is indeed a unique item that you needed. Yes! That hint was also, you huge. you never marked off the Book of Adora on your, on your track. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna yell that in the comments. <laughs> please yell, <laughs> please yell at me in the comments for not marking off my stuff on time. Okay, so... We have basically every yeah. that we need. This is probably a great, actually a pretty good stopping point, because I was planning on stopping around 12.30 anyway. But I think we should uh, first just go into the next dungeon so we have like a clear, you know, next place to go for next week. We'll pick this back up. Sure. Uh, which would you like to do the forest, the town, or the ice temple? Three, four, five. Oh, I guess you could do two as well now that you have the hook shot. Hmm. Um. You can also do seven, but I'd recommend against it without half magic. If we can try and find half magic in one of the other dungeons, maybe. Then yeah, I would fine. say I would say take me to a uh, a dungeon where magic isn't like largely required. So probably not the ice cavern yet. Um. Uh, that would be dungeon two or four. Um, let's do, uh, two, then. Where's that? Uh, it's straight to your right, but you need to be in Dark World first, so... Okay. Where's a good warp point? No matter what, the easiest warp point is either... Hyrule Castle, and it's a large trek, or Kakariko Village, and it's a... equally large trek. Let's get going. I'm surprised there's not a shorter way, though. If it's the dungeon. Oh, I'm getting my butt kicked. Oh, wait. Is that a warp point, or is that... No, there is. Yeah, go south. We'll test a theory. Go back to Link's house. Okay. This is for my own knowledge, too. I think there is a, uh, a warp point uh, right in that area, too. So go south of screen. All right. And then we want to hang to the left. And stay north. Um. So go, yep. Made the right. So go above that little. Go above the lake area. I think there's an area to hammer. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay, and then I think that rock is a warp point. Nice! Perfect. Alright, that was faster. So I imagine... Your way back out and that, I'm... I hate saying that, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I imagine that and there's a... Where that pendant is. Wait, do we even need the pendants, though? Uh, for the master check, a uh, master sword check, yes. But they're not really required for beating the seed, though. They are not, but you said you wanted dungeon too. Yeah, but if it has a pendant. Uh, dungeon two might also hold 
one or both of the medallions. We don't know where the other medallions that you need for dungeon six and seven are. I suppose it's good practice either way. Yeah. Plus, maybe you'll find another bottle. You've been wanting a bottle for a while. It would be nice. So this is the yeah, is this the second dungeon of Dark World? What dungeon is this called? Yep, this is the second uh, Swamp Palace, I believe. Swamp oh, you need Palace. To leave, though. Okay. You need to go out, go outside, go straight south, and then just uh just go a little go a little towards the wall, and then just use your uh, magic mirror. Like anywhere right there is fine. Oh. Rude. Okay, uh, so in here? Back into the and, yep, we want to pull the gate to move the water. Because it affects Dark World. Ah. Right is right. A little sad it hasn't given you the magic powder, but it is what it is. Yeah, I wonder where that is. Alright, now go back to Dark World. Here we go. And the water should be moved and you can swim across. Oh. Oh, cool. Alright. Perfect. That's Looks where like... you want to end it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I do have to get up with Kai tomorrow morning, so I don't want to stay too late. But, uh... Yeah, I also have to get up with my children tomorrow. <laughs> Being a dad's great, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I kind of just want to keep going, but at the same time, it's like, no, I, I should probably stop if I uh, care anything about future Sage tomorrow. So, <laughs> plus, this is this will be a really good point for us to leave off on, I think. Yeah, and since I'm helping you, this is basically like our, our test randomizer, so... I wait yeah, to but... see the one that you will do without my help <laughs> sometime in the future. I'm sure there'll be a lot more deaths as well. But uh, yeah, this has Maybe. actually been a this has been a ton of fun. I've I admit that I am enjoying this rando a lot more than I thought I would. It only took me bugging you for what, like eight months straight? <laughs> yeah, quite a while, <laughs> yes. Quite a while. Perseverance is key. I won. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, seriously, it was a ton of fun. Um, we're going to continue this on stream if you're not watching it on YouTube next week. Otherwise, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thanks for guiding me through all this, Cloud. Appreciate that. Anytime. Thank you for all the... Uh, Better swords and armor upgrades as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to regret sending you to the, uh, the treasure room shop for that third sword upgrade. I think that's going to make <laughs> it a little too easy. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm having a great time I with this. I want to get as many checks as possible. <laughs> that's right. And uh, I look forward to, to finishing this next week. So take care, guys, and I'll see you all next time.